a disaster is coming and it is going to come after the election. Well, the election was yesterday on November 8th, which means the disaster is coming very soon. Now, we are living in crazy times and I do not want you guys getting fooled. Over the past week, I've received messages like this. One says, and I quote, I can't wait for the elections to be over. We will finally get some good legislation in the months ahead. Really? Will we? I don't know. I also got a message that says this. I have lost so much money in the stock market. It is about time that we have a long rally. Are we having a rally? No. It was likely a dead cat bounce. And I even got this message. Gas prices are coming down, so this means inflation is going to come down too, right? Not necessarily. This is where the disaster is potentially coming in. Now, this is why I wanna come on here and explain what is going on. And I want to explain how some people are getting fooled and tricked. Now, the disaster that is going to come after the election, right? We know this, and this is something that we knew was going to happen. We've known this for many months. What we know is that the Biden administration was doing all that they could to try to keep gas prices down, which they were actually able to do fairly well for a little bit. Now, we also saw the stock market sell off, but the real sell offs are actually happening now. These are massive sell offs where Tesla is losing 5% day after day, right? We saw uh, Disney lose. Facebook or Meta, right? We've seen a lot of companies just sell off. Now, as far as good legislation out of Congress, well, this likely will not happen if we have a split Congress. And let's touch on that for a second. Today, we learned that the Senate is going to be extremely tight. It's going to be a very tight race. We are going to get a Georgia Senate runoff. That is something that is for certain, right? And that's going to happen on December 6th. Depending on what happens in Arizona and Nevada, it could actually come down to the Georgia Senate runoff. Once again, as to who will control the Senate. Will it be Republicans or will it continue to be Democrats? But this time, President Biden will not have the ability to promise a $2,000 stimulus check. If he does, well, we can pretty much call out BS on that one because there is no way a $2,000 stimulus check would pass, right? But that doesn't mean he will not promise other key priorities, which again, I don't want you to get fooled. If the Senate comes down to just Georgia, then expect more promises. For instance, we will likely see the child tax credit payments get talked about and get discussed because there has been renewed talks. But keep in mind that right now, the Senate is still going to be too close to really get any legislation passed, especially meaningful legislation, which would provide uh, additional stimulus to the American people. I, I told you guys this a week ago, I've told you this for the past few months, Democrats need at least 53 seats in the Senate in order to strong arm people like Senator Joe Manchin to get uh, you know what the people want as opposed to just what Senator Joe Manchin wants to avoid. Now, Senate, as of right now, is looking like it will be split 50 to 50 once again. Well, here is what else you need to understand. That is not the only place that the American people are getting fooled. Government officials keep on talking about in, how inflation is on a downward trajectory. That sounds good, right? Downward trajectory. That sounds really good as long as you're not on an airplane. But the truth is that we will likely, uh, right now again, we will likely see only temporary uh, decreases in our inflation rate, right? And it's because of things like uh, the Federal Reserve coming out and continuing to push uh, higher interest rates. It's going to help, but it might not be fast enough. We also know that tomorrow we're going to have October's Consumer Price Index. The projection is that CPI will rise by 0.6% for the month, which would put us at 7.9% from last year. The good news is that is down from the 8.2% where we are currently sitting. But the problem is that all of this can quickly get reversed now that the election is over. Because again, the Biden administration made sure gas prices went down. That was going to help them 
in the midterm elections. Well, again, elections are over. That means disaster is right around the corner. And according to experts, experts are predicting that the, the price of food is going to continue uh, to increase due to shortages. Also due to the increase in diesel costs and the shortage of diesel as well. And if we see more shipping issues because of the Mississippi River, then prices uh, for food as well will continue to rise. And in the event that we do have a railroad strike, expect prices to go up even further as well. Remember, the expectation is that the, the couple of months following the election, this could actually be worse than any time we have seen in the past two years. Now, you know what's happened over two years ago, right? We had, uh, you know, we couldn't leave our homes or we were not, or we were told to not leave our homes for about two weeks, right? Stock up on food, water, Lysol wipes, hand sanitizer, masks, even things like toilet paper. So when experts tell us this time could be worse than the past two years, that's not a good sign. But as always, I promise I will be here every step of the way. I will fill you in on all the latest news and updates as soon as we get them. All you gotta do is make sure you subscribe. Now, here's the other disaster. The American people are over $800 billion in debt from credit cards, okay? From credit cards. That is massive, okay? The reason why I bring this up is simple. The American people keep on spending money. We keep spending money like it's going out of style, right? I've told you this before, right? Hold on to this, hold on to this. Don't let it go, right? Take that money, save it, put it in a safe spot. I don't care where you stick it, put it in a safe spot. Don't spend it, okay? Do not spend your money if you can avoid it. And I tell you this for one simple reason. Prices are likely to continue going up. This $100 is not gonna last as far in a month or two months as it could today, right? Now, for all those people that are telling you, no, you need to take your money, you need to invest it, invest it into stocks and real estate. Stocks are not a good investment right now if that's the only money you have, if you can't wait for maybe six months or a year or five years for that rally. So again, make sure you hold on to your money. Now I'm all for investing, I'm all for stocks and real estate and, and even crypto, but in a time like this, crypto as well is still selling off. So that's not a good investment either. But again, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, but when we are seeing housing prices come down, is it the best idea to buy your home at the top of the market and then ride the wave down? No, probably not. Is it the best idea to buy stocks when they're overvalued and ride them down? No, probably not. If you can dollar cost average, that's the best thing. But if you only have a limited amount of money, that's probably not something that you can afford to do. So don't be fooled, a disaster is coming and it will likely come in the next two to six months according to experts. So as we know more information on what's gonna happen, I promise I'll be here every step of the way. All you gotta do, click that subscribe button, subscribe today, and I'll see you guys on the next one.